Hello there and welcome back to the channel Button Addict. Today we've got something different. We've got something weird. We have the Legend of Zelda, Zelda Ocarina of Time Studio Ghibli inspired fan film. Okay, I don't know if this is just in the style of Studio Ghibli or if Studio Ghibli is actually involved. But the fact is this is going to be nice. Anyway, let's get to watching this. Oh, I mean, subscribe as well. Unlike, of course. In the world of Zelda Ocarina of Time and the visuals of Studio Ghibli together. I will show you four different environments I created in Unreal Engine 5, as well as a third person perspective. On top of my full time job, I worked for more than 600 hours in just four months and created more than 30 different characters just for this video. Let's okay, this sounds crazy. Four months to me and 600 hours on top of his job. Actually insane. <clears throat> oh, they look cute. They look super nice. <clears throat> now I'm going to leave the guys logo in the right left hand corner because it's his property that I'm watching. Well, it's his fan film that I'm watching. It's Nintendo's property. Oh, yes. Is this the great Deku Tree? It's Young Link. Okay. But with Young Link. <coughs> okay. For anyone that doesn't know, I have never played The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Okay? I know that's sacrilegious to say in the Le in the Zelda fan base, but no, I never played it. So all this stuff, these environments are gonna be all new to me. Okay? Just deal with it. <coughs> mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Now, that looks pretty. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. This does look like Ghibli. Studio Ghibli. This is looking super nice. Oh, here's the town. You could tell the guy's putting a lot of work to this. It's so well animated. Nah, this is this is gold tier. And it's funny because you never really think of Link as a character showing any sort of emotion. That's what's crazy about this. Including the animation and the quality. <clears throat> of course, the chicken. Of course, good reference. And oh wait, oh, is that Navi? Navi. Okay. Everybody talks about Navi. Everybody on Twitter talks about Navi. Some people say Navi's annoying as hell. For sure. Whoa. I got food. Never looks this good in real life. When someone draws food or animates food, it looks delicious. Look at that. Castle Town. That is look at all oh, the shadows. The breeze. Okay. And if you notice, there's no voices. There's no voice acting. It's just ambience and sound effects. So, uh, when people are surprised and stuff like this. Okay. Now, just to warn you, there is a lot of this. Because the guy said he spent 600 hours and I think 4 months. Creating this. 
So this is some beefy material. All for 18 minutes of content. And we're gonna watch it. We're gonna watch it all. Okay, clown randomly. This will be the original game. I'm in the soundtrack. Lord. Did you look like actual studio? It's surprising how both Studio Ghibli, Studio Ghibli's art style, works with um. The Legend of Zelda art style, like cell shading and all that, it looks really nice. See, like, sound effects like that aren't speech, they're just sound effects. Yep, typical castle town activities. Come on. Show me more. It's Princess Zelda, young Princess Zelda. Okay. Is this a full movie or an episode? It's a fan film. Aha. Oh, is this Abosa? It's not Abosa, but it's from her clan of people. Ah, with the Hyrulean seal. Yep, that's Ganon. That is definitely Ganon. Oh, I remember, because Ganon used to be part of the Hyrulean army. He used to be a soldier. That is really well done. Here's the chink, chink, chink sound effect as the boots hit the ground. That is very well timed. It's Goblin Slayer. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Cannon. King of Hyrule. Now that was cool. That was cool to pull out a shot like that. That was super cool. Ah, the sword's been activated. Okay. Who are you? Whoa. Finger skating? Finger skating? Looks like it. Dance around what seems to be the Master Sword. <coughs> ah, so this is from. Mm. Okay, so this is more of a 3D, no, third person perspective. So you're controlling, a, so you're, you're controlling another person, okay. 
This is like if you're in a video game. So you look around the town like this. Because before, just like the camera was just hovering everywhere. Looks really nice, but slower for some reason. Less, less fluid. Um, but still amazing. Because if I did design 300 separate characters, I would lose my crap. Uh, lose, oh, there's the one dancing from before. What's amazing is how he's managed to keep all the characters in the same place from the previous preview. So when you're first person, and now you're your third person. Yep, this feels way more video game like. Now jump, Link, jump! Come on, jump! That foliage looks really impressive, holy jeez. Bum, bum, ba, 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 ba. Okay, it's twisting. Ooh, the laptop's nice and warm. I like. Yeah. Panoramic shot. Very nice. There's the weird face over there. I'm pointing over there, but I bet you my screen is mirrored, so I was pointing somewhere else. In the third person, I get this mode. You can see how the lighting, see the, the lighting affects the character. So when they're in shadow, the darker, and when they're out in the light, that is cool. Okay. Now a lot of you people might think that's a simple thing, but no. To get it mapped properly, that's a difficult thing. Respect this man. Rowan Link. Okay, but the carriage. Mm -hmm. Definitely so shaded, oh my god. So good. Uh, we're going, we're going, we're going. Ah, but the scene where she's chasing the chicken. Okay. So I think he's not doing it on the car, on the cart right here. He's just doing the third person in the town itself. Look, there's Princess Zelda. The most kidnapped princess in all the video games. Nope, get, don't get me wrong. There's also Princess Peach, who also gets kidnapped a lot as well. Okay, so that looks like a proper horse. I wonder if while exporting this, the frame rate dips slightly. Hmm. Or unless you just did add enough interval frames into certain bits of animation. Because you wouldn't believe that the walk cycle walk cycle animation is well, you need about 24 frames to get smooth animation. But you can do less though. You can do it with probably like 12 frames. 12 frames would probably be for nice smooth animation. It wouldn't be the smoothest, but it'd be smooth enough. And considering this person to make probably 24 frames per second, that is insane. Oh, ah. 
I wonder if he had to redraw all the models himself. Or he had to import them from a CAD file. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. The fact that you can see through the window as Gandalf is bowing down to the king before he probably betrays him or something. That's a nice touch. That's a really nice touch. Okay. Sorry for the lower FPS here, but it's made for a film, not a game. Ah, okay. That probably explains the very different frame rates between film and game. Film 24, game has to be 30, 60, something like that. Okay. That makes sense. Thank you for the explanation. Whoa. This is really... This has got really nice ambience to it. He's just linked running into nothing as a screensaver for the rest of eternity. Going everywhere, but getting absolutely nowhere. Yep, so he's controlling the camera for, for remote. Ah, there's the Triforce, okay. And the Korok Seeds. This is where we started though in the first bit of the video. Where he's right by the tree. Yeah, he's right by what I assume is the Great Deku Tree. Maybe they're not Korok Seeds. I, I don't know. Maybe it's something else. Reflection that looks pretty. Okay, okay, where are we going now? Ah, into the wilderness. I've made a boo boo. Click the wrong button, right? Go back to full screen, you stupid thing. That was very good, very entertaining. And it's just amazing if this man, single person, can do this, then surely Nintendo themselves can do something like this. Because this looks ridiculous and amazing. This is one person, Nintendo is a whole freaking company, okay? Do not tell me they cannot do this, okay? But there are, there are rumors, there are rumors that a Zelda film, or a Link film, or Legend of Zelda film is coming. Now, with the success of the One Piece stuff, and some other um, live action stuff, and the Mario film as well, hopefully they've got some sort of formula. Okay, now, I just got one thing to say, I'm off, I'm cold, and my nips will fall off, so I'll see you guys on the next video.